Hey there my YouTube pals. Uh, you may remember in previous videos where I was breaking the chains. Well today, today I'm going to pull the plug. If you recall from a previous video, this van used to have a ladder rack. Here I am removing that ladder rack preparing for the new solar panels and new roof rack to be installed at a later date. Before installing the new roof rack, I figured it was probably a good idea to get up on the roof and give it a good scrub down. And I also needed to fill these holes left by the old antennas. For the antenna holes, I use grommet plugs. I basically put silicone on the bottom of the plug, and then I press the plug down into the hole and allow the silicone to seal it. Then I put another layer on top of the plug, and for one added measure, after it dried, I went ahead and put tape over it, just because. While I was busy washing the van, my dad was designing a way for us to be able to fit three 100-watt solar panels on top of a 1998 Astro van. Along with designing the rack, my dad was also looking into how much the supplies would cost. Here's a look at the supplies we use to build this rack. This does not include labor costs. My dad designed this rack so that the solar panels sit down into the rack flush with the top, but there's still room below the panels to be able to run the cabling. So my dad emailed me this picture to show me what it was going to look like before he had any of the welding done and asked me what I thought. I said, heck yeah, that looks awesome. And so it does. Here's a look at the rack before my dad gets it welded together. So we've got one solar panel in place. There's two more spots for two more solar panels. And then in the center there is where the fantastic fan will go. Looking pretty sharp. While the welders were working on the brackets for the roof rack, we decided it was a good time to go ahead and drill a hole in the back right hand corner of the van to run our wires through to connect the power center to the solar panels. We drilled a hole in the roof and then we placed a grommet plug in the hole, sealed it, and then we came back and drilled two small holes to fit the wires in and then sealed those up as well. Here's a look at the grommet plug from the roof before we drilled the wire holes. Well, we've got the rack back from the welders with the brackets welded on and we're just about ready to mount this thing. But first, we need to pre-wire the solar panels, secure them to the rack, and then we'll lift the whole thing up on the van all at one time. Here's a side view of the van with the rack mounted and the solar panels installed. Pretty stealth looking, I'd say. And here's a look at the rack from the back of the van. You got one solar panel and then the fantastic fan and two solar panels up at the front of the van. Now I want to show you what it looks like walking up to the van. Now I'm six foot tall and I'm holding the camera at eye level. So let's say it's about five foot nine or so. So this is me walking up to the van. Right now you don't see the solar panels at all. If you were to peek under there, you could see them, but for the most part, they're, they're not visible at all, basically. It looks just like a standard rack up there. Now, let's take a look at the front. Pretty stealth looking. Those two holes there in the rack, I plan on getting uh, rubber plugs to plug those up at, at some point. Now let's take a look at the brackets. We had them custom made to fit the bolt holes of the previous ladder rack. We riveted the brackets to the frame and then had them welded later. Here's a look at the panels as I raise my arms up in the air above my head. Notice the fantastic fan there. It still opens and closes with no issues. The back custom brackets were also riveted in place and then welded to the frame later. There's where we tapped in the van, partially hidden by the bracket. And we tucked away the cabling and zip tied the cables as best we could. 
the roof rack sits just above the back brake light. Let me back up and give you a view here. You can't see the solar panels until I lift my hands up and above my head. So now I'm up on a ladder so I can give you a better view of the solar panels and I want to show you my dad's plan of getting the solar panel to sit flush with the roof rack, top of the roof rack. Our goal for this roof rack and the solar panels was for the solar panels to blend in as much as possible with the rest of the van and hopefully it won't be seen very easily and draw attention to the van. Once again, my dad did an awesome job. Thanks, Dad and Nancy. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Hope to see you out on the open road. Please like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot.